I bet you've spent hours on your phone trying to find cheap flights for your holidays. Sometimes you get very cheap deals and sometimes you end up paying a lot. A few weeks ago, I was determined to find the cheapest combination to the most remote location I could from Barcelona. This is the story of how I traveled to the Norwegian Arctic Circle for just 30 euros. Right now, it's sunny outside. I'm in Barcelona and it's about 27 degrees Celsius here. Look at my outfit. I mean, I could be wearing my swimming suit right now. Now I'm preparing myself to go to Northern Norway, to the Arctic. I guess I will have to change my outfit for something which protects me from cold and not from heat. So yeah, quite weird to do this when summer is just about to start. It's 3.30 in Barcelona. My first flight leaves in about three hours and I'm here waiting for the bus, which usually takes one hour and a half to reach the airport. So yeah, you have to wake up early, like very, very early. So yeah, nice start. For my first flight, I'm flying to Denmark to Billund, which is a city uh, in the middle of the country. It's not really too big, but it has something which is really interesting. You'll see in a few minutes. What you see behind me is the airport of Bilum. It is a very large airport for the size of this uh, town or village, you could say. But it offers um, flights for all the region of southern um, Denmark, I guess. So now I'm trying to head to the center of the village, which is not too far walking. I mean, I don't want to spend money on useless buses. So um, let's see, Bilum. Denmark, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, it feels quite empty and lonely here. I mean, it's Thursday, 10 a.m., whatever. I really don't know why there's people in the streets like in this specific street in the middle of nothing, but okay. In case you haven't noticed by now, the reason why Bilun exists and has so many flights and it's so popular here it's because it is the birthplace of lego these little bricks that when you were a kid you used to play with this is where these bricks were created and in fact there's an entire touristic industry here all around lego so what you see here it's a theme park themed only about lego things and more and if you go a little bit farther we, we will find some houses made out of Lego They even have a Lego hotel Wow Hotel number 2 Let me tell you something Outside this place The Lego thing this village is completely dead, like, I haven't seen a house in the entire place. And I assume these are the main headquarters of LIGO, here, in the middle of Billund. This is one of the main things to do here in Billund, which is the sculpture trail. If you continue on, you'll see more of these sculptures, and it goes on a long way. However, I'm not going to be able to make it because I'm running short of time and I need to walk again back to the airport, but yeah, nice idea if you're coming to Billund. I'm 
literally on the top of the legal house. Check this out. I just went to the supermarket to buy some food for today because I don't know if I will have time to buy something in my next destination. However, it is just starting to rain and I'm not very equipped for that. So yeah, and I also have like a 50 minute walk to the airport now, so whatever. I'm soaking. Oh my god. I am now in my second stop of the day. I just arrived to Dansk in Poland. I had already been here before in October. I have a video on that. I'm here for only two hours and eventually I will take my last flight of the day. The flight I'm going to take in about two hours is uh, by far the most weird flight I've ever taken or at least the most exclusive one since uh, there is only one flight that connects Europe or the rest of Europe with this city which is from here from Dansk and with the company of Wizard which is kind of like low cost as some of you may know. Other ways to get to this place you gotta go to Norway first go to Oslo and from Oslo take another plane to this place and it's normally very 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 uh, expensive. This is one in a lifetime chance and I just uh, was lucky enough to get the combination cheap enough to get to this place. So in a few minutes you'll see where I am going. The flight is delayed for one hour and a half and my plan was to go walking from the airport to my place where I'm going but uh, it seems going to be very late and it's not only that, the thing is I don't have any kind of transportation to get to the place I want to go unless there are taxis but given the fact that it's going to be one of the last uh, flights of the day I'm not sure if I'm gonna have that option, I just have my fingers crossed that, that there are taxis or something because if not I'm gonna be in a very serious trouble. I thought I would have to take a taxi, but luckily there's buses, so I am going cheap to Bogen. So yeah, that's fine. I can't believe this place exists. Oh my God, look at this, wow. I promise that in all of my travels, I've never seen a place like this. This is a hostel, which is in the middle of nowhere. I had zero expectations, but it turns out to be the best place I've ever been in. This is so good. By the way, it's 11.30 PM and there's light, like, the sun never sets here because we are so far north that 
it, during summer, during the mm, from May to July, I think the sun never sets. I don't know how I am going to sleep tonight, but I don't care. I mean, the view is just amazing. I just can't believe this. And I have the entire place for me alone. There's nobody here tonight. It's only me in this hostel. And it was cheap, 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 like crazy cheap for Norway. Like the bus to come here, it cost me like almost one quarter of what, it co what this place cost me. This is just insane. I'm just speechless. What's that? What? What is this? I'm gonna leave this video here. Thanks for coming with me to the Arctic Circle. I know it's a very hard word to pronounce, but yeah, um, whatever. Thanks for coming. Uh, this trip has been planned for a long time. I spent too much time working on this, making this on a budget. In fact, as I mentioned before, all the flights and everything I'm doing here is very on a, on a very, very short budget. So I'm very proud of being able to do this and experience this for so little money. If you're interested in knowing how to do this, just contact me, let me know. You have my Instagram and Twitter down in the description. Next week, uh, you will have more videos in Norway, in this region. I will do some trekking, so I will go more to more places, so just make sure uh, you subscribe and follow my channel. Tomorrow, I have a very big day. See you soon.